Hi, it's Russ from Studio One Expert. There are times when you either have a live performance sent to you or you want to track a, uh, an idea down with a guitar and you've, you've not even bothered using a click track and you want to get stuff around it such as drum machines or sequences or effects units with tempo mapping in them to to play along in time. Now there are two options you can quantize the original performance or you can go the other way and keep the feel of the original performance and have everything follow that. So we're going to show you how to tempo map. And this is what I call tempo map like a ninja because this is really, really fast. And uh, there are other ways of doing this, but this is the fast way that I've found to do it. So at the moment, I have a guitar down here. I also have Easy Drummer playing MIDI and also Stylus playing Lock to it to play tambourine and shaker and a drum kit so at the moment I've guessed it's about 135 the tempo so if I play it now so straight away the first thing I've got to do is get this guitar on the beat so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use just three commands to make all of this work the first one I'm going to do is I'm going to do tab to transient we use that a lot so tab to transient in this piece here and I'm deleting that out and now if I listen to it it should be getting close It's starting to go in and out. It's, it's it's like a drunk drummer, but the drummer isn't drunk. The drummer's actually in time. It's the guitar that's out. So I'm going to show you how to tempo map very quickly. As I say, tempo map like a ninja. And you won't even have to hear anything. You just have to hear the guitar. And what we're going to do first is we're going to go through the track and we're going to slice it up just for reference. That's all I'm doing it for. So I'm going to play it. One, two, three, four. So the first beat falls there. So I, I tab to transit to there and I press uh, a cut point. There's the second one, tab there. There's one there. And there's one there. So now if we look straight away, we can see the drift here and here is out straight away. So although it wasn't bad playing, it isn't spot on. So why have I put those cut points in? It's for this reason. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to three there, put a tempo point in, five, put a tempo point in, seven, put a tempo point in, and nine, and put a tempo point in, like that. Now, If you can't see this where you're adding tempo markers, then you need to press this little clock here. So now we have tempo markers in here. Now here's where the cool bit happens. We're going to zoom in a bit. And if we look closely now to the first one here at three, you can see it's right out. But if you hover here, you'll see that there's a there's two, there's a mark there that's actually on the track. Now depending on whether you're using a Mac or a PC, it's uh, command on a Mac and I think control on a PC. And if I hold that down, if it's wrong, tell me. We'll put it in the notes. And I move that to there. Now three is falling there. So we come to seven. Do, do, do it in any order, to be honest. You'll see that little thing appear. Move that up, drop it. Now, the more you zoom in, the closer you'll get it, and the more accurate it'll be. Back down to five. As I said, I didn't do these in order, but then I get my creative. There's that marker. Pull that to there. Click. So come out, where's the ninth one? Here's the ninth one here. And that's out. And there's where the, that's where drift really starts to happen there. So we just press that, move it to there, click. So now. I haven't even listened to the drum parts that were there. Take this out of solo now and have a listen now. It's as simple as that. Now the cool thing then is if I come here and just delete all this lot out, uh, I could have used a different key command to do this, but I'm just going to do that quickly, delete that lot out. I don't have to worry about the slices because I bring this back out now and I was just using that to create a reference point when I was tempo mapping. If you want to use the naked eye, you can, but...
we go. That's how to tempo map a live track very fast like a ninja. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.